Now let us talk about the types of vibration. There are four main types of vibration that you should know about. Free vibration, forced vibration, damped and undamped vibration. Now as you saw that the excitation force was a sinusoidal force. Let me say x sin omega t. So this shows it is a periodic motion. Okay. So free vibration is that vibration in which the periodic disturbing motion continues after removing the initial disturbing force. So you push the system and the system keeps on executing that periodic motion continuously without any further use of that disturbing force. So I, I would write down that the system continuously executes the periodic motion after the removal of initial disturbing force after the removal of initial disturbing force All right now we come to the forced vibration it is the opposite of the free vibration means you cannot remove the initial disturbing force if you want the system to keep executing the periodic motion means a constant external disturbing force or an excitation force is required for the system to keep executing that periodic motion okay so we will say that an external Uh, you can say excitation is needed by the system to execute the periodic motion. Okay. Next is the damped vibration. Damped means that, let me, let me show you a diagram. So we will draw two diagrams. Okay, for damped, let us say you produce an initial periodic motion. Okay, and after that, your periodic motion in amplitude keeps on decreasing. So when the amplitude, because this is the amplitude, this is the, the maximum uh, displacement from the mean position. Okay. So when the amplitude of this periodic motion keeps on decreasing as the time goes by, so this is a chart between amplitude and time, such a vibration is called damp vibration. So I can say that with time, with time, the amplitude keeps on reducing. The amplitude keeps on reducing. Okay, and undamped means that your amplitude is same throughout. There is no damping. Okay, so in this, how you can say that with time. with time there is no reduction there is no reduction or decrease in the amplitude in the amplitude okay so these are the four most basic types of vibration that you must know and remember after understanding the types of vibration now let's move on to the next video and talk about some important terms concerning the vibrations.